The purpose of this video is to give the observer a demonstration of how to conduct tympanometry. Tympanometry is a fast, non-invasive means of objectively assessing a client's middle ear system. Tympanometry can also assist in monitoring chronic middle ear fluid to confirm tympanic membrane perforations and to monitor eustachian tube function. Tympanometry is thus conducted as part of a test battery to supplement the findings of otoscopy and pure tone audiometry. Automatic tympanometers are commonly used in clinical practice. Tympanometry can be performed on clients of all ages. The clinician must select a 1 kHz probe tone for infants 4 months old and under and a 226 Hz probe tone for adults. Clinicians should conduct tympanometry on themselves at the start of every day to ensure that your equipment is working properly. If the results are not similar to your expected tympanometry values, use a different tympanometer that does. Ensure that your equipment has been recently calibrated and undergoes repairs if faulty. There are several contraindications for tympanometry. It should not be carried out if the client has had recent ear surgery. Ordinarily, you should not test these clients within six months of surgery or you should follow the recommendations of their autologist. Also, tympanometry should not be performed if the client has visible blood or discharge in their outer ear, if there is pain upon contact with the probe, or if the client has otitis externa. The testing procedure is as follows. The clinician has previously washed their hands, introduced themselves and obtained consent to conduct testing from the client. They select a clean tympanometry tip of an appropriate size for the client in order to establish a good seal. Explain to the client that this is a quick test that assesses their middle ear health. Inform them that during the test you will need to remain still and to not speak. You may hear some sounds and feel a change in pressure. In order to straighten the ear canal, pull the client's ear up and backwards in adults and downwards and backwards in children. Establish a seal by placing the tympanometry tip into the ear canal. The test will automatically commence once the seal has been obtained and this is usually indicated by a green light appearing on the tympanometer. If a yellow light or a red light is displayed on the tympanometer, this usually means that you haven't obtained a proper seal or that the tip is occluded. You may need to use a larger tip, use some aura gel, straighten the ear canal more or manoeuvre the probe a little deeper into the ear canal. Once you've obtained a tympanogram, record and classify your results. Repeat the tympanogram if the client swallows, talks, coughs or laughs during the procedure or if you do not obtain a normal result, known as a type A tympanogram, in the first instance. Once you've completed tympanometry, remove the tip from the tympanometer, clean it using an alcohol wipe and leave it to soak in ethanol before it's reused. If the tip has any traces of blood or discharge, throw the tip away immediately. You'll obtain three recordings from a tympanogram, the ear canal volume in centimetres cubed, the static compliance in millihose, and the pressure at which we obtain the maximal compliance in decapascals. These results can be used to classify the tympanogram into three broad categories, A, B and C. A type A tympanogram suggests that the client's middle ear system is functioning normally they are unlikely to have a conductive component to their hearing loss. A type AS tympanogram indicates reduced middle ear mobility, whereas a type AD indicates increased middle ear mobility. A type BL tympanogram suggests middle ear effusion, while a type BH suggests a perforation in the tympanic membrane or patent grommets. A type C tympanogram indicates that there is negative air pressure in the middle ear. This can be consistent with several things including sinus or allergy congestion, the end stages of a cold or ear infection, or a blockage or dysfunction of the eustachian tube. To summarise tympanometry, it's an objective means of assessing a client's middle ear system and it's regularly used as part of an audiologist's test battery. Check that your equipment is working well and ensure that there's no contraindications to carrying out tympanometry. Remember to repeat tympanometry if you do not obtain a type A in the first instance and record and classify your results.